Today, we're gonna go coral shopping and I'm going to set up a brand new RODI system. Let's go. What's up, coral people? If you're new here, my name is Remy and this is the Bahamalam Coral YouTube channel. If you would like to support the channel, the easiest, most freest, best feelingest way is to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. I've got a couple of video ideas that I've been waiting to do and I still need a little bit more time to go ahead and produce those. So today we're going to set up a new RODI system. We're also gonna go to the local fish store and see if we can find anything to buy. Now the question is, which do you wanna do first? Yeah, I totally agree, let's go. All right, so it's actually been a minute since I've been to Corner Reef and I need to remind myself, whenever I go in there, I always get distracted. So I need to remind myself, I need fish food. So I'll get fish food for sure. And then maybe a new fish for the lagoon. I don't know, we'll see what we find. I know they've got a bunch of tank breakdowns they've just done. They've posted some photos on Facebook. So let's go check it out. Do you remember this tank from last time? There was like not a whole lot in it and now it's like jam packed. Some highlights. Aussie gold. Pretty nice trackies right here. Oh, but these meat corals, ladies and gentlemen. I think these were here last time or at least this orange one was right here. That guy is awesome. I think he wants like $1,200 for one of those. So that will not be the coral today. Super neon, this hammer really pops. Check in on the weeping willow here. Looking good. He's kind of pulled in a little bit, but looks good. Oh, what do you think about a yellow chorus wrasse? All right, so I guess it was a productive day. I got, I remembered fish food at the very last minute. So uh, <laughs> I guess I got what I went for, but uh, I'm kind of looking for a fish for the lagoon and I came across this chorus wrasse. I know that it will eventually get big enough that I'll have to move it out. But for now, he's a perfect little size for that uh, lagoon tank. I'm gonna go back home. I'm going to acclimate this fish. And unfortunately I didn't really see any coral today i mean i saw plenty of coral that i really wanted that was super expensive but uh, i didn't get any of those hidden gems today but that's totally okay because corner reef is always bringing in stuff so i uh, really love this local fish store here in the st louis area and if you missed my tour of the corner reef you gotta go check that out i'll link that above somewhere and you can check that out as well all right Let's go. We'll check out the new stuff in the tank here in a little bit, but I want to show you this new RDI system that I got from Marine Depot. This unit might actually look familiar to some of you. Aside from it looking like a typical RODI system, this was actually a system that I believe was distributed by Vertex. And that is a company that has since gone under. This product was definitely worth saving even though Vertex went under. Aquamax picked up this product. It's got so many features that not only makes it easier for you, but it will also extend the life of all of the media that you use to make RODI. I cannot stress enough, at home, RODI systems are so key. Even if you just have a nano tank or a couple nano tanks, an RODI system will pay off in the long run, I promise. And because water is the biggest part of a reef tank, you wanna make sure that you've got a system that can produce zero TDS water. No offense to the local fish store, but the only way you're gonna know if that water is coming in at zero TDS is for you to bring a handheld meter to the LFS, and I'm not sure, maybe some of you do that, but it just seems 
Like it's a lot easier to make the RODI at home and be able to monitor all of those numbers on your own. We spend $8 million on lights it seems, but for whatever reason we try and skimp on the filtration that we have. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So put a little extra money into your RODI system when you decide to get one. Or if you're like me and you already had one, whenever you decide to upgrade, spend a little extra money on it. This is yet another one of those hard lessons in reefing where you skimp in the beginning and you pay for it in the end. And so one of those features that my RODI system didn't have, but this one does, is the automatic back flush. This does two things. It, it prevents TDS creep, and it also helps make your media last a lot longer, including your membrane, your DI resin, and all that. My original RODI system came with pretty much no features. It was a stripped down model, four stage RODI, get the job done. But that system, I was having to replace the DI resin maybe once or twice a month sometimes, and that can really add up. Spending a little extra money up front will help you in the long haul. They offer a couple different connectors that you can use in this kit. So you can hook it up to your sink, you can hook it up to a shower. Uh, also, if you wanna tap into another line in your house, you can do that with some of the connectors that they provide, but they, they will give you everything that you need. I have mine in a utility room here in the basement and am using a pre-existing line that they had already tapped into for the drinking water RODI that's down here. So the only hassle that I have right now because I haven't tapped in two different spots is that I have to disconnect the drinking water and plug in mine and vice versa. If you do want a temp setup, I would suggest doing it in the bathtub because you will inevitably let your RODI overflow. I will say this, a $6 float valve will save you almost every time. I've had my float valve for several years now and it has not malfunctioned, fingers crossed. But when you're making RODI water and you don't have any kind of safety precautions in place, you will definitely flood your house at least once. So if you put your reservoir in the bathtub while you're making water and you use the shower head as your source water, if it overflows, it's just gonna go down the drain. We've been running for about a half an hour on the membrane now. And the last step before we just produce a bunch of water is putting in the uh, DI resin, the high capacity DI resin that, that will be in this third chamber here or the first chamber, I guess, depending on how you look at it. So I have about a hundred gallons of water that I take care of back here. It's not a ton. And I will say that the 100 gallon per day RODI system is a perfect fit for that. I didn't want to get into too much of the how to set up an RODI system because there are so many videos out on YouTube right now that will teach you how to set up your RODI system. And there's so many applications on how you tap into your source water. Is it just from the faucet? Are you going into the main water lines? All of those are options. And again, those videos can be found out on YouTube as well. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run for probably a couple hours, I'll fill up several of these 10 gallon buckets and we'll make sure that this is all flushed out and all the newness is done before we uh, actually put some of this water in the tank. So, so far so good. And you're gonna find the entire Aquamax line at marinedepot.com and I am not cool enough to have a 10% off code, but my boys over at the Reef News Network are. So if you want 10% off your order, make sure to type in Reef News at checkout for 10% off. Every little bit helps, right? And when you do that, you're also helping our friends at the Reef News Network. If you haven't checked out that podcast, you really should. All right, let's go ahead and check out what we got today. You can see him there, he's doing awesome. I love it because he's been super curious. He's been out, I didn't wanna spook him, but he's been super curious and he's been out and about picking at the rocks, doing chorus rass things. These can get up to about five inches long. The recommended tank is 50 gallons, but he's so small right now, I think he should be good. Are there rass police out there? I know there's tang police, but he seems to be loving having this entire tank to himself. Now you may be like, Remy, I thought you had a Wheeler's Gobi in there. Well, I did. I did have a Wheeler's Gobi in here. And for those of you that have the innovative marine products, the all-in-one tanks, they come with a lid. How fantastic. But what they don't come with is a flush lid all the way around. And I don't know why that's not the case. I don't know if it's because it's harder to like, you know, pull it off, uh, get your finger underneath there so you can get the lid off. But he found the little crack, the little crevice that was around here 
and jumped. So unfortunately, he jumped, but for this one, because I know chorus wrasses are jumpers too, I went ahead and I made up the difference with some egg crate. And before you comment below, I am gonna put some mesh on top of here too, because obviously he could probably get through there. I just wanted to make sure that for the time being, he wasn't gonna jump out the back of the tank. Yeah, super happy to have this guy in the tank. He is so cool. And I love how they move too. So it's nice to have some movement in here. Even when the Wheeler's Gobi was in here, he didn't really swim around like this. So, so that was my only addition yesterday. I know it's weird to go to the local fish store and not get coral as well, but nothing really popped. And if it did, it was like super expensive. <laughs> so this little guy was awesome. Probably a little overpriced for a chorus wrasse right now, but it's so hard for local fish stores to get fish in at a good price anymore just because shipping costs so much during the pandemic. But I am always happy to support my local fish stores. I really wanna know, have you ever wanted to start a YouTube channel about your reef system? If so, and you haven't yet, what has prevented you from making videos and putting them on YouTube? Make sure to leave a comment down below. And as always, check out my friend Scott Crow and his crew at Ocean State Aquatics. Even if you're not in their area, you can always check out the awesome videos that they have posted on their Facebook page. It's always fun to see when they get shipments in and all the different saltwater and freshwater fish and plants and coral. And if you need something, like if you see something in one of their videos, while they don't have their coral selection up on the website yet, if you see something, I'm sure they would be more than willing to work with you on a purchase and maybe shipping that out to your house. And the easiest way to support this channel is to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new videos. This is like the first time that I've recorded a video while the kids aren't napping or they're not in bed for the night. So I don't think you could have heard them the entire time, but it, it's been pretty loud. You might've thought when you were setting up your reef tank in the basement that it would be nice and quiet, but it just sounds like cattle are running upstairs constantly whenever the kids are up. So it's nice, super beautiful, but you might want to do it with headphones on.